Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, in this video, it's going to be a little bit different than what I've uh, usually done. Um, I'm going to be talking about using your sort of secondary classes and abilities uh, to benefit your performance using your main. Like if you've seen any uh, some of my other videos, uh, you'll know I'm a, a warlock main. But there are benefits to using the other classes to sort of enhance your abilities as as your main. Like for example, for the glides, um, getting used to being able to uh, get over long gaps and knowing uh, the sort of gaps you wouldn't be able to make. Uh, Titans are very good for learning distances. If you can make the gap very comfortably with a Titan, you can do it with a Warlock. Simple as. Um, whereas for blinks, I would actually say that hunters very helpful for that like if you use a say like a high jump and think of the blink as a sort of a directional double jump where it depends on what direction you're going rather than like you're, because the high jump is like more vertical than anything else uh, if you sort of picture yourself as a sort of focal point um, and uh, momentum you have is sort of going to push you in whatever direction you're going basically. I mean, and anyone who's used Blink will know this. Um, anyone who's good with Blink will um, be very familiar with this. But if you're sort of not really used to Blink and if you don't like Blink all that much, try using a Hunter. And um, I mean, using your high jump will sort of give you an idea of um, what trying to Blink up is like. And then um, maybe even triple jump. Or, or this, actually, a no, strafe jump would be a lot better for picturing what blink is like. And then that, I would actually say that uh, hunters are great for getting used to um, mobility in general. Um, I know True Vanger did a, a video of using vertical space uh, to sort of dupe opponents and stuff like that. I've done that quite a lot on my um, Dawn Blade when I was maining it for practically all of year one. Sort of hovering over doors using the vertical space to um, get around opponents behind them when they come out but like using one one um, class isn't like the only way to get good with one subclass in your main like what uh, going off the dominate example using hammers for titan sort of gave me an idea of how um, how I should be aiming my uh, my blades whenever I pop my super um, and then having been used to titan skipping a little bit on console gave me an even better idea of how I should be playing um, the Dawn Blade after the go fast update with burst glide because like it's it's like titan skating on steroids it's great uh, you can really cover the map quite quickly for another example using titans and their supers the uh, fist of havoc um, have a, a smaller radius than the nova warp but if you can if you're confident with hitting someone down with this with a a fist, uh, you're 100% going to get them with a charge nova warp, um, and then they've got that a shoulder charge while they're in the super as well. So you can sort of chain that together and you chain your blinking together as well. Um, now the chaos reach, I couldn't really think of anything um, off the top of my head. If you if you guys can think of anything, leave it in the comments. That if you have an idea, any idea where a similarity could. Uh, sort of be transferred over into bettering yourself with the Chaos Reach. Um, Stormcaller, I feel like it's more like a very s um, less spammy version of the Arc Strider, where you can still use your mobility for like for vertical space and stuff, you can't really dodge with a world or the Stormcaller unless you're using the Ionic Blink Tree, which I would actually much prefer to be using anyway over um, Landfall. I feel like Landfall doesn't really give you enough of uh, an advantage over Blink. And the Arc Soul really doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Like, it, it can help in some situations, but it's not enough of a buff, really. So, I don't think all supers can be helpful. Um, using the Blade Barrage is an okay way to learn how to use an overbomb. It would have been a lot better in D1 with the whole Lance perk you could use, but now it's a very arcing or super slow. Maybe even using Nova Bomb to help with learning how to use your blade brush and when to use your blade brush because I know there's a sort of a wide um, initial area where you could like hit walls and the ceiling and the floor or whatever. 
and you can do the exact same with an overbomb. Um, but I feel like the Nova Bomb's got a wider sort of um, initial uh, radius, so you could fuck it up a lot easier um, when casting it. So yeah, new, using Nova Bomb is quite helpful for learning how to or when to use your shards. Um, another another uh, hunter super that could help with, uh, well, could use help from other classes is uh, like the Arc Strider. If pretty much if you use any quick uh, roaming super like. And uh, I mean, Stormcaller doesn't have a great TTK, but you can get around. And if you're a good Stormcaller, you can outmatch a lot of other roaming supers. Uh, shutdown supers, not so much, unless like it's maybe a golden gun and you're blinking a lot. Um, yeah, shards would pretty much shut that down very easily. So yeah, shards use an overbomb to practice with. Um, even if you don't like warlocks, even if you think we are the scum of the solar system, hop on your warlock if you've got one, or start one if you haven't, and uh, get some practice in. Because um, being expecting the projectile to take longer will uh, sort of help you translate it into when you actually use your blades, because um, it'll be a lot quicker. Obviously, those things are fucking super quick. Um, the tether, I wouldn't really know what other supers you could use to um, help with that. Um, as s pretty similar with the, um, the spectral blades as well. Uh, there aren't really many other quick um, super up close supers. Spectral blades, basically the void supers for the hunter. I don't know of anyone that'll uh, of any others that would actually help advance your abilities with that. The titans. Using Domblade for top or bottom tree hammers would help, like the um, Domblade, or sorry, Daybreak Blades, they'd help. It'd be something like a, a similar situation to um, using the Nova Bomb for Shards of Galanor. And the blades go slower, I mean there's more, tra I, I think there's more tracking on them. I mean now that they've updated it further again, um, I mean there'd definitely be a lot more tracking on a uh, bottom tree uh, Domblade. But maybe for top tree, they, they'd be quite similar with them, the sort of blast radius and aim assist for them on console. And if you get used to the sort of time and arcing you'd have to predict when using a, a daybreak blade, could help with your hammer's aim if you're not used to a tight. The bubble, knowing a good place to put a bubble is also pretty much vital for, um, well, vital for the super at, at all, really. like. If you place it in the arse end of your spawn, I mean, you're not, it's going to be of no use. You might as well have just not used the super at all. If you are good at placing a well of radiance, uh, which is usually around maybe a corner or in a tight sort of corridor that's uh, heavily trafficked, that could help a lot with uh, knowing where to put your bubble. I mean, everyone knows to put a bubble on the bomb and countdown or on B flag or whatever. But no, you, you can place it unpredictably and come out on top. And with Striker, I mentioned the uh, the Nova Warp as well, which, I mean, they can translate to each other. Uh, if you're good with a Striker, you could be good with a Nova Warp. I mean, you just gotta allow for a little bit more time uh, with charging it. I don't, I haven't tested the length of time between slamming from maybe like a meter or two in the ground, oh, in the air, uh, to getting a full charge Nova Bomb. I mean, Missile Titan, no idea. You pretty much just gotta launch yourself, l light your fire underneath you, and fly. I mean, Chaos Reach, the Void Supers for Hunters, and Missile Titan. I don't think there's really any uh, sort of crossovers with uh, how how the supers play. If you think the Big Hammer, um, I mean, it could be similar to the Chaos Reach, but like super short range in comparison. So yeah, Titans. <laughs> You sentinels are on your own. Sorry. 